the intent or objective of the mandatory requirement is to provide adequate outdoor air ventilation to avoid pollutants affecting indoor air quality. The compliance requirement is straightforward. The project should meet the minimum acceptable ventilation requirements for all regularly occupied spaces. The requirement depends on the type of ventilation. The spaces can be either naturally ventilated or mechanically ventilated. Mechanically ventilated spaces should meet the requirements of ASHRAE 62.1 2010. Naturally ventilated spaces should provide sufficient operable windows. There are two points to be considered when providing operable windows for natural ventilation. Number one, the purpose of operable windows or doors is to allow fresh air inside the building. So there should not be any obstruction within two meter from the windows or doors. Number two, only operable part of the window can be considered for the calculation in case of sliding windows. We will come across the term regularly occupied space in many credits. So it is better to understand what spaces include regularly occupied spaces. Regularly occupied spaces include workstations, cabins, meeting rooms, cafeteria, conference rooms, waiting areas etc the following spaces are excluded from regularly occupied spaces toilets store rooms janitor rooms etc there are two credits associated with monitoring and testing of indoor air quality levels credit 2 co2 monitoring and credit 7 indoor air quality testing after construction and before occupancy. The intent or objective of the credit CO2 monitoring is to continuously monitor and control carbon dioxide level in the building to ensure occupant comfort and well-being. CO2 level is an indicator of effectiveness of the ventilation. Lesser the CO2 level means better ventilation. Higher CO2 level means the ventilation is poor. The indoor CO2 level should not exceed above 530 ppm from the outdoor levels. That is, if the outdoor CO2 level is 300 ppm, the indoor CO2 level should not exceed 830 ppm. That is, the differential CO2 level should not exceed 530 ppm. The intent or objective of the credit is to avoid occupants exposure to indoor airborne contaminants before occupying the premises to reduce adverse health impacts on building occupants. Indoor air quality testing after construction and before occupancy is all about ensuring that the indoor air quality levels are within acceptable limit after the completion of the construction and before occupancy. As we discussed in low emitting materials, the finishing materials are rich in contaminants. That is, the finishing materials are rich in VOC contents. Hence, the project should test and verify that the indoor air quality levels are within acceptable limit after installing all the finishing materials within the building and before occupancy. To earn points in the credit, a concentration of formaldehyde, PM10, total VOC, phenyl cyclohexene and carbon monoxide should be tested and it should be within prescribed limit.